Human papillomavirus is the main cause of cervical cancer. A vaccine has been developed to protect girls and women from HPV. Describe how giving this vaccine leads to the production of antibody against HPV. So with these questions to do with vaccines, you need to be really careful because you can't jump straight in all of the time and talk about memory cells and immunity. You have to really analyse the question. And in this one, they've asked you how it leads to the production of antibody. So actually, you're really going to be talking about the primary immune response in this case. So... I've already written out an answer here, just to speed things up a little bit. So with all of these questions, you need to mention that the vaccine is going to contain an antigen. All vaccines stimulating the immune system will contain an antigen. So that will get you one mark, and then this will be displayed on a phagocyte, which will become an antigen-presenting cell. And the reason why that's important is because that will enable a specific T helper cell with a receptor that's complementary to that antigen to become activated. And then that will stimulate a specific B cell. And again, this specific B cell will have a specific receptor on its surface, which is actually an antibody, and that will also bind to this antigen. And so then that will cause the B cells to divide rapidly by mitosis, they'll form clones which will become B plasma cells and these B plasma cells will actually go on to produce the antibody. So the best way to approach these questions is just bullet point out your answers in a logical way and it makes it nice and clear for you to see that you've covered all of the points and also for the examiner to mark too. So I'll just show you the mark scheme for this. Um, so there we have it, all of the five points. Um, but really important is actually you understand that these immune cells, the T cells and the B cells are all specific. And that's because what it says here, it's because of the receptors on their surface. So quite a lot of students went wrong on this and actually talked about memory cells, which you don't need to do. OK, the next part. Doctors investigated whether it was better to give two or three doses of this vaccine. They determined the mean concentration of antibody against HPV in the blood from these girls who were given the two or three doses. So the girls given two doses received an initial vaccination and then another one at six months. But the girls receiving three doses were given the same but also a second vaccination at one month. And the doctors has measured the concentration of antibody um, each month. And they've shown us the results here in a graph. Um, so we've got time on the y-axis. So we've got zero here, that's where they're given their first vaccination. And then one month would be about here where they're given their second. Um, and six months would be about here where they're given the third. And it's asked you, what do these results suggest? important word there about whether it's better to give two or three doses of the vaccine and give reasons for your answer so we need to use the results in the graph so what can we see well um, a vaccine would be better if it produces a higher concentration of antibody so which one of these is higher well it's the girls who've been given two doses um, so our first point there would be that two doses is better because they have more antibody. And that's what we want. But that's only one point. That's only going to get us one point on the mark scheme. So how can we expand on this? So actually, if we look at the detail of it, these ones who've been given a second vaccination at one month, that hasn't even led to the production of any more antibody. We can see here, at one month, it's exactly the same. So it's actually completely ineffective and in fact it's really just a waste of money and of course this is going to be less popular in the girls who are having it because it's no, no purpose or actually it would probably lead to fewer people taking the vaccine. So I'm not going to bother writing that out again I'll just show you the mark scheme here. So we've got the first most obvious mark the one I wrote two doses because we've got more antibody and then these two here. Um, so the fact that looking at one month specifically, so to have identified that, you'll have really had to read the question carefully. And seeing that it said one month there, look at that on the graph. 
So that doesn't lead to the production of any more antibody. You get a similar response and therefore three doses would just purely be more expensive and less popular but serves no purpose. Okay, so now we've got a statistical test one. The doctors carried out a statistical test to determine whether the antibody concentrations were significantly different in girls given two doses of the vaccine compared to girls given three doses. They determined the mean concentrations after nine months. So whenever you see mean concentrations with statistical test, you know that it's going to be a t-test. That's a general rule. So test is going to be t-test and that's because we're comparing means. Um, and that's literally the same for any any t test question. That's the the why you put it, and that's how you explain it. And then the last part, there is genetic diversity within HPV. Give two ways doctors could use base sequences to compare different types of HPV. Now this is another classic which. If you've looked at the specification, if you know it inside out, you'll find this super easy because in the genetic diversity topic where we're measuring genetic diversity, it actually gives you three ways on the specification we can measure diversity. And they are DNA-based sequences, mRNA-based sequences, and amino acid sequences. And in this one, it's talked about base sequences. And so it's not gonna be the amino acid one. So we're just gonna say, DNA base sequences um, and the other one we're going to do is mRNA base sequences. So you could have said comparing DNA, comparing mRNA, all this other point here looking for mutations and those mutations are going to change the base sequence but if you've looked at the spec these two are really really easy marks here.